Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amit Bhujan Sharma, Director United Cardiology, Paras Hospital Burgao. Today I'm going to talk to you on a very very important burning topic, heart attack in young population. You see all the time you have people having heart attacks at the age of 35, at the age of 40, even at the age of 20s, early 20s, what is happening. You see every month you have a major celebrity who is apparently very healthy, goes to the gym, is a teetotaler, still he dies of a heart attack. What happened? What went wrong? So what we've analyzed is four major factors. First of all, there is a phenomenon called as a thin cap blockage. Yes, thin cap blockage means that even a 30% blockage can cause a heart attack and sudden cardiac death. As compared to a thick cap blockage, that means even if it's a blockage of 80%, it may not cause a death. You heard me right. Why a thin cap will cause a heart attack? Because thin cap, suddenly it will burst because of anything. It could be a weekend binge drinking. It could be a weekend warrior syndrome. When we tell a weekend warrior syndrome means what people who have been sedentary from Monday to Saturday suddenly start exercising on Sunday, decide to do a one foot marathon or decide to do a 10 kilometers of swimming or decide to do a 40 kilometers of cycling. Suddenly the plaque bursts and causes a stroke. It could be a weekend binge drinking. People who are not happy to drinking alcohol suddenly have five to six prints of beer over the weekend. And this is what happens. People who are not habitual of exercising goes to the gym, especially a new athlete. New athlete by definition is somebody who started exercising after the age of 35. He goes to the gym, starts lifting heavy weight, tells the trainer to switch off the AC if he wants to sweat more. Low oxygen. Low oxygen is a fertile milieu for a heart attack. On top of it, he starts taking a pre-workout. Pre-workout is nothing but a concentrated uh, caffeinated drink. Pre-workout basically increases your heart rate, increases your blood pressure. That is specifically not meant for people who are above the age of 35. So don't do it. So they start taking pre-workouts. Sometimes people who are more ignorant, they start taking testosterone. They start taking steroids. So suddenly your heart rate goes, you go into a beast mode. And unfortunately that day you do not go to the exercise and you start hitting the bar instead. Take, it, take alcohol with it. It becomes a potent combination. You have froth coming over your mouth. We had a similar case about a 22 years old youngster who had froth, froth coming from his mouth while he was working out in the gym with this kind and had a sudden cardiac arrest. So then he had a major artery which was blocked. So such cases are different from an older age group. Younger age group, the blockage will be like a hot knife through butter, small clots will be there. So you pull out the clot, suck out the clot, image it relief. So time is muscle in all these cases. Do not ignore your symptoms. If you have any symptoms, these symptoms could be any acidity, gastritis, which is not relieved by pantocid. Symptoms could be heaviness in the chest, which is there. It increases on walking, decreases on running. It could go to the jaw. AC is on, but still you're sweating. That could also be a cardiac symptom. If you're a diabetic, if you have any acidity or shortness of breath, especially as you say that with a diabetic, the moment I start walking, I start feeling short of breath. Earlier, I used to walk for one or two kilometers. Now I can barely walk for about 100 meters. This is also a cardiac symptom. So diabetic patients, a shortness of breath may not kill you because of asthma. Acidity or gastritis may not kill you, but heart disease can definitely be fatal.